How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, if you guys didn't already know, if you bought the Ultimate or Champions Edition, the full game is officially out. Well, it's out for me in three minutes. I'm currently recording this at 11.57. However, for you guys, when you're watching this, it is out. And in three days, people that bought the standard edition is out for you guys too, which is pretty amazing. I'm very excited. And if you guys didn't know, I actually have a second channel, which I'll be running a pack only road to glory on. That will be on PlayStation only. And that will start the first episode tomorrow. It will go live. If you guys want to subscribe to that, it'd be greatly appreciated. We are just under a thousand subscribers. And when I say just under, I think we're like five subs away from a thousand. So if you guys want to check out the pack only road to glory, Check that link in the description for the second channel. Now, today what I have for you actually is a brand new video about the FIFA Pro and the FIFA 19 team of the year. If you guys didn't know, the FIFA Pro World 11 used to be the Ballon d'Or Awards and it used to be held in January, the award ceremony, and in January we got team of the year. Now, we still get team of the year in January. However, the award ceremony is now actually announced in late September slash early October every year. And it got announced tonight. And I wanted to talk, oh, well, last night. Tonight for me, last night for you guys. So I wanted to talk about the FIFA Pro World 11, and then I wanted to talk about the team of the year last year and how they differentiated. I want to talk about what I think the team of the year will be for this year compared to the FIFA Pro World 11. So the FIFA Pro World 11 last year was uh, Buffon in net. Then it was uh, it was Marcelo, Dani Alves, Bonucci, and Sergio Ramos. Then across the midfield, it was, I think, Tony Cruz, Modric, and Iniesta. Then up front, it was Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi. However... The team of the year that FIFA 19 had, because we had a voting system, if you guys don't remember, uh, it was actually De Gea in net with Bonucci, Dani Alves, Marcelo, and uh, and Sergio Ramos. Then it was De Bruyne, Kante, Modric. Then it was Messi, Kane, and Ronaldo. So, this year's FIFA Pro World 11. Now, what I've done is I've gone and found the FIFA Pro World 11, and I've made team of the year cards to show you guys the team of the year cards I think they'll get. And in goal, of course, it's going to be, who do you guys think? It's going to be David De Gea. Now, interesting fact. First of all, uh, the, the cards in this video aren't final. They're actually not the team of the year cards. They're just a concept that I found. Because I, I, I haven't seen any of the team of the year cards being found. However, Courtois got goalkeeper of the year this year over De Gea. Now, I'm a Man United fan, so I'm a little biased. So I'm going to leave my opinion out of it. Let me know down below if you think it should be Courtois or De Gea winning the goalkeeper of the year. Or maybe even someone else. Maybe Oblak, maybe Handanovic, maybe Tostegan, any of those guys. Let me know down below who you think. But this is the uh, card I've given De Gea. 97 rated, similar to last year, with very similar stats to last year as well. Uh, and all in all, just a really solid looking goalkeeper card. The right back. As always, somehow, somehow he weasels his way in. Absolutely every year, and it kind of annoys me that he weasels his way in every year. However, it's Danny Alves. I don't get how he gets in every year, but he managed to got he got in the FIFA Pro World 11 this year. Maybe he just has. I think someone put on Twitter that he just has a load of dirt on the people that uh that that make that 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 vote for the award. So maybe that's the case. Uh, however, 89 rated card, pretty pretty good stats. However. Dani Alves hasn't got the most amazing stats this year, so it won't be the most incredible of looking cards. I can see it being quite cheap as well if he does get the Team of the Year card. Hopefully, he gets voted out by the community this year. But uh, if not, we'll we will have a Dani Alves card now. The centre-backs go as follows. It goes Rafael Varane, which I'm very excited for. I'm very happy to have Varane in here. I've given Varane a really nice 94 rated card and could be a centre-back with 91 pace. If so, that will probably be everyone's go-to centre-back with a god squad. Without a shadow of a doubt, no no way people would not use this card. Incredible looking card, and Rafael Varane this year looks fantastic, uh, and definitely, in my opinion, will get the Team of the Year card if he's definitely in the vote. So uh, that's pretty amazing. And then, of course, who else but to partner him, Sergio Ramos, and I can't even I can't even type right now. Sergio Ramos in the other side is, of course, with his 91 rated card. An amazing card, as always, and uh, I've given him the 97 rated card that he probably will get. He probably will get in the team of the year. And uh, 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 97 defending, 91 physical. Now, I packed team of the year of Ramos last year on FIFA 18, untradeable, and he was a GOAT. He was the GOAT, so hopefully I get him this year on the pack only road glory, but one can only find out with time to come. Now, the left back, of course, is Marcelo every year. Marcelo is undoubtedly, in my opinion, the best left back in the world. Without a shadow of a doubt, he plays amazingly for Royale. And I've given him a 90... Let me find his card. A 94 rated card with 89 pace, 97 dribbling, 78 shooting, 90 defending, 90 physical, and 90 passing. With five-star skills as well, this card will be unbelievable. 
will be absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully he does get it because I'm really excited because this card will just be insane. And that like it just tear up FIFA, especially with five star skills this year. So super excited for that. Now left center mid. We have gone with N'Golo Kante because uh, why not? You know, World Cup winner, fantastic player, played amazingly for Chelsea, for example. Just a great all-round player. 96 rated card I've given him. I think that's pretty fair. Plus six rating is, is pretty much the, bank, the blanket rating. Um, but a fantastic looking card nonetheless. 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 94 defending, 91 physical, 85 passing, 75 shooting. Um... On N'Golo Kante, he has been done dirty with his shooting this year, so I think that's a pretty fair card to give N'Golo. Uh, really nice looking card as well, so uh, hopefully he does get a card like this. Now, the central centre mid is actually interesting. It's Eden Hazard. He got given a FIFA Pro World 11 card at midfield, which I think is very interesting. Um, so what I've done is I've made him a left mid and given him a 97 rated team of the year card. Do I think he deserves a team of the year? I think uh, sorry, Hazard is fantastic. I think he's one of the best players in the world, without a shadow of a doubt. Whether he deserves a team of the year card or not, I'm going to leave that to you. I'm going to leave that for you guys to put in the description. Uh, sorry, put in the comments down below. However, if you want to get a team of the year card, I think it looks something like this, and it would look like a fantastic card. So let me know down below whether you think he deserves it or not. I personally don't think he had the best of seasons last season, but then again, I think that he, you know, he, he had a rough start and he, he had a rough season as well. So uh, the right centre mid is actually the uh, the FIFA Pro, the best award winner. Apparently, this is the Player of the Year. Luka Modric. I say apparently he is player of the year, actually. I packed this guy earlier as well, which is amazing. Luka Modric is player of the year, and I think he deserves it more than anyone else. He played incredibly. He was fantastic. He was just, honestly, one of the best players in the world, if not the... Well, he was the best player in the world last year. Came runners-up in the World Cup, played amazingly for Croatia, played amazingly for Real Madrid. In my opinion, the best player in the world last year. Just an amazing all-round player. And I gave him a 99 rate card because he got the best award. So definitely deserves, I think, the, uh, the rating. So... The right winger is Mbappe, which I'm so excited for. I really hope he does get this. Uh, it's the only player in this whole thing that I actually have. I picked him up, by the way, for 390k, and I think he's going for like 430, so hell yeah. Um, but five-star skills this year as well. The card I've given him, as you guys can already see on the screen, is a 96-rated card, a right winger card, 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 98 shooting, 84 physical, 89 passing. Definitely deserves it, in my opinion. He's been insane ever since he started doing bits for Domino, uh, for Domino, for Monaco. Um, and uh, I'm very excited to see where he takes his career next. Up front, of course, you know who the next two players are going to be. Cristiano Ronaldo, definitely up front. Uh, 98 rated card I give him. Now, I actually give him a 98. I gave him and Messi both 98 rated cards. Sorry to spoil the last one. Uh, but I gave him and Messi 98 rated cards. And the Juve badge is there. You just can't see it on this. For some reason, they didn't have white on the uh, card generator site that I used. However... 98 rated I gave him, and the reason I gave him that is because he wasn't the best in the world. Uh, but then again, neither was Messi, and he got a 99 rated card last year. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I did the exact same with Messi. I gave Messi a 98 rated card. Uh, let me find uh, Messi on concepts. Uh, let me find Messi real quick. There we go. I gave Messi a 94 rated card. Uh, sorry, 98 rated card with 97 pace, 99 dribbling, 99 shooting, 95 passing. Uh, I think that both of them deserve really, really good cards. Do they both deserve 99 uh, as well as Modric? I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave that again to you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, let me know down below. And if you guys are excited for the team of the year as well, let me know in those comments down below. I'm super excited. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.